One of the questions that we're asked about all the time is how long should it take us to clean this building? Well, that's obviously a pretty loaded question because there are so many variables when it comes to cleaning. So one of the questions we'll sometimes ask the person is, well, do you know about how long it takes to clean a similar building? Or what is your production rate for cleaning a similar building? And they have no idea what we're talking about. So this is a tool that we created. It's a very simple calculator that helps you figure out what your production rate is for each of your clients. So all you have to do is list your clients under the location, list the square feet for their building, list the total time it takes to clean, and then the calculator will give you the production rate. So if you look at this first example, the square footage for the building is 8,520 square feet. They know it takes two and a half hours to clean. And so that means their production rate is 3,408. That's 3,408 square feet per hour that their cleaners can clean. If you look at the next example, it's 4,400 square feet. Total time is 1.75 and their production rate is 2,514.29 to be exact. If you look at a bigger building, you've got a 53,000 square foot building, takes 12 hours to clean, and their production rate is 4416.67. So you can see they have several different production rates, and I'm sure that a dental office is naturally going to have a little bit lower production rate than perhaps a larger office building. So what I recommend you do is list all your locations like this and figure out the square footage and the exact time it takes to clean on average and then that will give you your production rate. Now in this same spreadsheet is another tab and it's called General Cleaning Task Time Calculator. So the instructions are up on top and we're gonna go right into the task section. So what you're going to do is time. You can time up to three employees. So this would be employee one, employee two, employee three. And you can time them on specific tasks to get an average time per task. So for example, emptying a trash can or replacing a liner. Took the first cleaner 30 seconds, the second 35, the second 45. So you've got an average of 37 seconds. For this, this was uh, dusting four by three blinds with a feather or static dust duster. And so this was the time for the whole office. They took an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and five minutes. So you've got an average of an hour and 12 minutes. So you can do this for each of the tasks. If you really want to get an idea of how long it takes your cleaners to do a particular task, that's going to help you when figuring out your proposals for all your time estimates going forward. It's much better to do your own estimating than it is to use a generic list that you might have gotten from an association. I mean, we even have those lists for our members with average times, but those are just average times. These are not for your company, so you may want to do some additional tracking. So if you really want to improve your pricing and estimating of how much time it's going to take to clean a building, this is really going to help your profitability and your accuracy in submitting proposals. So I highly recommend you use a tool like this and start tracking your times for your locations and your employees. If you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, it is available in the download library for members of the janitorialstore.com.